So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to We Happy Few. The land where as long as you go ahead and take your joy, only good things can happen. Here, hold up a sec. Go! See this right here? Here we go. How did that happen? I was promised, as long as I take my joy, only good things happen. Alright, in future I'm taking it normally only, okay? Welcome back there guys to We Happy Few. So in the last episode, we were introduced to a brand new character that we actually know called Ollie and also his wife. AKA, uh, Ollie what? and a picture. What? Turns out our original escape plan has been foiled completely thanks to a tunnel caving in. However, this new character Ollie says he has a few things he can do to help us get out of where we are currently. So I guess we're gonna follow along with him, but that involves doing a mission or two for him. And so with that said, I wanna jump straight into this episode, and I mean guys... <laughs> Oh, God, I need to please, remind you no, again to take no, your joy. No! Oh, I felt terrible. How did I even get back here? Did someone carry me? Yeah. That's a real good question. Have I really got to go all the way over there again? Okay, thank goodness it was just the wrong save. I was seriously paranoid right there. I thought my game didn't save whatsoever and I was going to have to do it all again. <laughs> Thankfully not. I'm gonna go ahead and take that victory meat and there was something... Oh, I thought that was a stew. Okay, maybe not. So at this moment in time, we're actually at the residence of Ollie and his wife's. And, um, yeah, I wasn't joking when I said she was just literally a photo. And I mean, first observation, Ollie looks like he's kind of gone ahead. So I'm gonna do a little bit of mooching around this place, you know? <laughs> and there's literally nothing more than this right here. So that was worthwhile. However, I do see some kind of platforming thing right there. So, I mean, I will go ahead and check this one out. See exactly what we got up here. Ollie, what are you hiding from me? Oh, there is actually a chest. We'll search it. Loose screw. Okay, there's a lot of good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Nice. And we got a new dig spot. That's awesome. Just pull up the map for one second here. Let's go ahead and see where this dig spot is. By the looks of things, I think the dig spot is somewhere located in an area we haven't discovered. But I guess once we go ahead and see that, we may be able to locate it. We really have nothing to lose, guys. We're going to go ahead, follow Ollie, and I guess go ahead and do this mission. So now we're going to get out of the train station. And yep. There was the rip in the fencing, and I can't go back, so that's great. Let's go ahead, go out of here. No, I think this is actually, yeah, this is the back end of what was once the train station then. And now our objective is to go over to Ollie and I guess get discussing. One thing he did say, I believe, is that we've got to do this in the night time. I'm not sure if when we get there, we can maybe stay over or wait it out with him and we can skip some time. So I'll bear that in mind, but I guess if not, I'll have to come back here and maybe sleep away. What do we have over here? Joy is poison. I think we've now established the exact same thing too. None of these doors can be opened, so... All right, they're sealed off, and probably there's people inside, so good job we can't enter. Quite a few people as well said to me that you want to see some longer episodes with this series, and I do have a small idea how I can go ahead and do that. So we'll be trying some new things here and there, and I guess just let me know at the end or at any point really how you're enjoying it, and then we can really go from there. So, hold up. What's that? Hello? We okay? Uh, hold up. Let me just, uh, okay, that's weapon out, weapon away. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal this, okay? You're, you're welcome. Can I come in here? You are trespassing. Look, I'm out! I'm out, okay? I had no idea. I thought it was like, uh, you know, open house viewing, um... Oh, Miss got a second house here. Not bad, really. Mm. That's interesting dialogue. So, I mean, we both we are trespassing, so there must be someone else here. Now it's just establishing... We've got rotten apples, look. Why would we steal a rotten apple, okay? I'll take some charcoal for some reason. Uh, the counter has absolutely nothing. Keep on the low, though. Could be someone else in here somewhere. I don't know if that's someone speaking. Oh, I'll take the Jimmy bar, thanks. We searched the low dresser, we've got a canteen. Where? are these people. We need to sleep as well. Okay, that's worth knowing. I'll go ahead, take that and the metal bits times three. Nice. <coughs> Mechanical bits. Never seen those before. Um, I guess they'll have a good use down the line. So, are they upstairs? Still haven't seen them anywhere. This is strange. Hey, low peaks, low peaks. Hmm. They sound like they're downstairs or something, you know? Bathtub full of, like, uh, roses or some kind of petal. Um, look, I'm gonna keep looting your place. I'm sorry. Bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. What? So, what am I? I'm packing out, you see? So, in the top corner now, it says that we've reached, like, a uh, pound limit or something. So, I'll take that. People know we're here, too. If I hop out the window. Yeah, there you go. I ain't trespassing no more, right? Gosh, I'm really way down, though. I gotta get rid of some stuff. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop the dirty bandages. It doesn't seem like a good idea to really have those. We gotta lose the weight, though. We're getting way too heavy to carry all this stuff. That shovel's kind of on its way out, so I guess we'll go ahead and drop that thing. Now we're okay for the weight, but I feel like I kind of want to clear my inventory maybe a bit more too. We'll go ahead and take a consumable. May as well reduce the weight by 0.2. Okay, so now the only concern we have at this moment in time is to sleep. And I don't really want to go all the way back, but, you know, I may have to, to the original bunker. Ooh. What is this? Find a hatch! So there's another home around here somewhere. Let's go ahead and try and find it within here, then. Let's go ahead and open this door. It's jammed. Maybe there's another way in from around the other side. I can hear some kind of strange music coming from in there. Okay, we're gonna climb through. Uh, I'll search that. 
Explore the building. Wait, this is like a side quest and I didn't even have any idea about this. Okay, this place is actually important because it's gonna allow us to actually sleep, I suppose. Uh, we'll take the Jimmy bar right there, but we gotta try and get in here. It's locked open, we could pry it open. May as well, it will make a bit of noise. I think there will be some people inside too. We'll find out. There you go, so we can now open that. Um, I'm not sure really what's going on here. We'll oh, find out by going inside. Why are there this? cables coming out of that painting? Let me what just does go that bookshelf look like? It doesn't quite fit. Hmm. I wonder if it's some sort of secret door. I think so. You're onto this, Arthur. Probably we're not trespassing, so there's no one else here, I suppose. Um, look, let's go ahead and go to the source of this. That goes right the way over there. So we had to go that way after all. And I guess by doing that, it's probably going to end up moving the bookcase. As always, we're going to start, I get. Uh, wait, I want to spin this thing first. Yes, I can't, so there's those two. Now we hold E to rotate the wheel. This gives us the power then. And then turn, yep, there you go. Everything is now illuminated. So if we hop back through, because we can see the yellow wire is all linking up, I think we now got access to that place. Go ahead and pick these logs first, you know. You better have some good stuff in. So let's go have a look. Okay, that's all linked up, so we'll go ahead and slide that. Switch in the other room. Already done it, Arthur. Are you serious right now? All right, so uh, what is this? We can check code apparently. Um, we got some kind of coordination thing going on here. Something to figure out. So mastermind pickup. Probably gonna be within that then, I guess. Got a gas mask as well? Okay, I can take that. I do remember actually in the build before, there was areas where there would be some kind of like gas temperature and it would kill you. So a very important item, I suppose. Now it all comes down to understanding what this code could be. Enjoy my little puzzle. Silly, I know, but it keeps the plagues out. Choose a symbol for each button. Check with the lever. If you get it wrong three times, the puzzle resets. Otherwise, it will be just too ridiculously easy. Well, that doesn't help at all in figuring out what the freak this thing is. We press the buttons. We press it multiple times and there's different symbols. Okay, so the fact that this one is already green it tells me that that's already the right symbol. So uh, look, I'll press these in different coordinations and I guess we'll check the code. So none of it's right, I guess. Okay, let's try those ones there. Okay, so that was like the circle with the dot in the middle. And then for these two, look, let me take a really hazard guess right here. Let's see if we can get this first try. Let's try that. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, look, there you go. That's how we get the access we need. So let's see what we got here. Will we find someone else? It's just simply a shelter. And then we can link up with this one and the one back, I guess, in the original place. That is awesome. And here we are. Okay, so we got a vending machine in this one too. That's great. I mean, the person who's got this shower, I mean, he knows how to make money from me, you know? All right, let me go ahead and check in here. That's what we need, the pneumatic stash. So I'm going to put some stuff in there in a sec. Uh, do a little bit more looting. First, let's go ahead and put the power on, okay? We're being stupid. There you go. That's what I like to see. So we have our uh, bench. We got a blueprint for the dart, I think that was. we take that one. Uh, blueprint the help. Uh, Holy wait, what the freak? The chemistry set. This this is really cool right now, okay? I am into this a lot. See, that's the thing I'm finding about this game so far. You've got, like, the world, and then you also have, like, the different story stuff. You can be into any of them, but if you're into both at the same time, then it's a win-win. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some stuff, and I'll be right back in just a sec. Okay, that's that all sorted. Now, we're gonna access the power to this thing. Now, no, that is what allows us to pass the yeah. Without anyone trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Kind of feel like I want to go through it just to see if there's like anything that goes on in between. Oh, okay. So we can kind of teleport to and from. I get you. No need to do that this moment in time. So, you know what? Let me go ahead and check out this chemistry station. This is something I've uh, never seen. We've got the blueprint for the head knocker. One here called the pointy stick. Let's go ahead and look at this thing then. So with this, I get I can make the dirty bandage like I'm good. I don't think we need to use that right now. It won't be too beneficial. So I think really the main thing I need to do is get myself some food. So I'll do that before I sleep. Then go ahead, sleep. And I think I'm going to wake up towards the evening. And then we're going to go ahead and meet Ollie. Go ahead, take the war ration. That solves that problem. And the last thing we got to do now is just go ahead and get some shut eye. Eight hours seems reasonable. Then it will start getting dark right then. We've got the whole night to get this done. When he woke sleep up, this one away. he realized that it all just been a bad dream. And then he woke up again and realized, crap, this is actually reality. And that should just about do it, okay? Let's go ahead, uh, why am I shutting my window? I want to climb out. Go ahead, seal this thing up behind me. That's my home right now, guys. What an upgrade as well. They never told me what that specialist said. The one in London, when they took him to see him. I was kind of thinking the same thing. I guess he's talking about his brother right there. Because it seems like he's not able to, uh, I guess, look after himself. So there's more stuff that we've got to learn in regards to that. But this is our next objective right here, guys. Going to go ahead and pick some of these up. Uh, Freak. Got a lot of music around here. Take, I think there's loads of the bushes of the Rose of Gilead, thank goodness. Welcome to today's edition of Humor Hour, the show where you tell me jokes. They actually hide them in jokes and you send them in. And I'm not interested, I'm going. Here we go then. So we're trespassing straight up. So investigators and spies will be shot, I think that says, though it looks like it's kind of crossed out. Bayoneted. Equally as bad. So Ollie did say he took care of the people at the front desk, and it does seem kind of barren, you see. Uh, 
I mean, I say that, the dude, it's like he's sleeping right there. Either that or, uh, yeah, I think they may be knocked out, actually. Yep, they're not doing too good right there. <laughs> Ollie's here. Yeah, you Wait. two bloody listen to me, all right? Uh, One fine here. day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying okay. there's an elephant broke loose. Now, I think I'm this? Elephants. He's it's looking, I think. Creatures, I don't time. know. And they get along just oh, fine with their man who rides them. That was freaking easy. It's What's wrong with these people? Yeah. Oh. Like, but we're passed out or something. Very neat. No? You have to wow. up. And this okay. one, I got this. It's a good conversation. And it's both chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant okay. runs oh. into the market and starts eating peaches. Peaches? And the coolie tries to okay. stop him. And the elephant oh, steps on him something horrible. Mashes him right into the mud. And skin comes off his back like he was peeling a grape. What's that and talking about? Press the button. The um, Only now, I don't know if it's open the the isn't in the I'll keep anymore. sneaking because uh, they're so distracted with the stories. Leaves. Let me just keep going here. Never aim your gun at anyone you don't want to shoot. Never fire your gun at anyone you don't want to kill. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Okay, looks like it's open. And that dude, he's sleeping peacefully. Though his eyes are wide open, what the heck? Let me open no, this. Whoa. Peace civilians. They're Perhaps all drunk. Civilian. They're all so what? drunk. I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. Steal his, right? I mean, can we hold up? That would be like the easiest thing, steal his. Let's go ahead and do this. Ollie, where the freak you at right now? Over there, I guess. Guess we're gonna make track in that direction. Hey, or not, because we'll jump off a cliff. Bunker. All right, let's keep going this way. Ollie, you gotta be somewhere nearby. It's looking like he's found a route maybe around the back. So that's good. Let me just check the campfire. And they're cooking nothing. That's good. Bunker. Still directing us this way. There is a small crack. You see and all this stuff. Uh, warning. Bangers ahead. Welcome to the dump. Hold up. Up a tree. Go check this thing out. What do we have here? It's a flashback. What we got? I'm waiting. What are they doing? Arthur. Arthur? What the dad? You get down from that tree before I chop it down. Do you know Dang. why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists. That's this all. is the dad. This way, just like this way dad. on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who yep. told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, you all know about it, just not the kids. Mm. Look, they've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. <laughs> They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't mm. want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while, I think. I don't hmm. want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, right. I'll, I'll come down. It's hard to figure out right now. Is the dad doing it for the wrong reasons? Doesn't sound like it. It just sounds like he's got really no choice. Um, I but uh oh, I think I might be stuck actually. Uh, maybe we can have tea in the uh, the tree Aye. Or, or something. Easy to hold a grudge on a parent though when you're a kid and you don't really know uh, everything that's going on. The kid did say that only the parents really know truly what's happening, and I guess that's as far as we uh, can get with that one. Back to the mission at hand, okay? Parting is such sweet tomorrow, or whatever that means. Here he is. Pure water is now available in your journal. All right. Whoa. Did you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. There's a hole you in don't the fence. Care. Get this done, he dump. says. <laughs> you just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Oh, really? Then, That's simple. sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy wow. peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? Yep. The general keeps the keys in his desk. You want me to break into the general's office? Of course he does. The only way you can scotch the power is find my new lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. Oh, wow. What if they spot me? I'd You'll die. Run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to do the example. Run. Okay. Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. See, I don't they know if he's being serious right there. They very fast. They're all old farts like me. You can shift right now. We already established that, okay, when you was trying to kill us before, okay, Ollie? I don't know about this one, guys. I really don't. Ollie, let's see oh, that map boy. you made. Moonshine recipe. Uh, oh. I'm gonna need that to cope after Ollie's this. Okay? Sleeping potion for those chaps on the bridge. Hmm. Sure. Very detailed map on Ollie's part. I know exactly what I'm doing. No, I really don't. Ollie said there was a hole in the fence in the dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate. Mm hmm. So where's the dump? Is this it here? Clearly, that's not gonna open. That says no dumping, so there's got to be a hole somewhere around here. Well. 
I was looking for this hole and I got stuck. And there's nothing I can do to get out of this. So, um, yeah, I gotta restart right now. Do I just jump over like, so I can't, wait, I'm so confused. There's an arrow here, it says enter the dump. Wait, what am I doing? Hold up. Okay, guys, I've came over to the distillery. I'm concealed at the moment, but I have to try and find myself some bobby pins. That's my problem. Take a look in here. Dang it, nothing. Come on, just some bobby pins. I need them right now so desperately. Okay then guys, so if you're wondering why there's been a weird jump cut, literally because there was no lockpicks available, I can't do the mission. And I, that has kind of annoyed me just a little bit. Like if the game wants you to get through that way, because it was going on about like a hole in the floor, maybe I didn't see it and I'm just being stupid. I spent the best part of 30 minutes just trying to find the resources to, I guess, build some stuff. And I can't, it, it's kind of frustrating. I looked all around the camp, there's nothing to find the stuff. Bobby bin times two, that's all I needed. Well, fantastic. Well, the phone's ringing, let's go ahead and Please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. Again with this? The fox is in the hen house. Is this the hen the house fox here? is in the hen house. And am I the Who's fox? our prudent friend? Hmm. Kind of interesting. Okay, let's get this mission finally underway. This right here, to find the parts to make the lockpick, took me 40 minutes, guys, because I looked all around this place. There should at least have been like a bobby pin here, you know? Look, we're in now. This is the main part. So find a way to the Victory Memorial Camp. Dump at your own risk if you must, but we do not like it. Okay, let's uh, take a look around here. Maybe there's going to be some more bobby pins just behind the door. Force open this crate here. Go ahead and do it. All right, what do we have? We have nimble hands and coffee beans, all right? So I think we can maybe read. Let me go over to these bushes here. So we've got two guards. We're concealed at the moment. We'll take the blue currents just to the side of us. Hmm. We could try and distract them. And then I guess we've got to go that way around. So let's go ahead and try and do that. Go along right there. See what happens. They're both interested. Let's go one more just in that direction over there. Hold up. Hey, are they interested in me or the thing? They saw me. Uh-oh. That's not good. Let me go along one more time. Hey, oh, that hit the dude. That's really bad. The freak. Does he know where I am? He says I'm concealed. Ooh. Oh my god. Whoa, that was quick. Hold up. Gotta chill right now. Jeez. Oh, wow. And you bleed as well. Yeah, you gotta make these jabs count, guys. Gotta oh, it's a double jab? I'm basically dead already. Hold up. Let me, let me run away a second. See this. What the freak is going on? Use the first aid. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta be quick. Then I gotta stop the bleeding, okay? That solves everything then. All right, good stuff. Guys, let's just get this done, shall we? Okay, there goes the first one. All right, he's got the bayonet. It's like a double attack thing. All right, you're going to do it. Let me take a sw He keeps dodging that, you see? Try and shove him. All right, there you go. Sit down, boy. Woo! Now, I'll admit, that could have gone a little bit better. Just drink to that one, though. Feel a bit better about how bad that went. Okay, what we got over here? Uh, uh, we'll take the darts. Now, I don't use these still, but I got a load of them. So, I need to really look at what those things can actually do, I guess. Okay, let's climb up here, though. This is how we get over, right? This is how we get in. Okay, we've got a cutscene. All right, so I've been doing it. here goes. This is where the game gets a bit more sneaky, right? Oh, you have enough points to buy a skill. I need to look at that before we do. And we've been spied straight up. And he jumps in. Are you sure that was smart, Arthur? I don't know so much. Let's find out. We're inside. What? So the tanks yeah, are. They're not real? We took all the kids to the train station. We sent them off to Germany because of papier mache. An illusion. That's gonna make him mad. First of all, I got eight points apparently here. Look at that, wow. So that one costs three points there. I think most of them do. With a little preparation, you could give them a real wallop. First of all, we're gonna go for this one here. That adds 50% of our max health, I think that's said. It's the ground, notice footsteps from further away. That's always a good thing, but it is five points, which is all of the rest of them. Talking to people makes them trust you more. Let's go ahead, and upgrade that thing. And that's about everything done for now. Anyway, let's get back on track here then. So we got a big searchlight up ahead. Gotta be careful, you see? Sweeps left and then right. So we should be okay to stand up back here, I think. Okay, on the low. There's some concealment there. Let's go ahead, go into it quickly, quickly. Okay, this should conceal us from the light as well, I think. So, and it's right overhead. So where have I got to head to from here? Let me see. 98 meters in that direction. Can the light move the other way? There's two people patrolling them. So my best bet is to go that way. Once the light comes this way, maybe run underneath the building there. You see that? Wait, both the soldiers have just gone. Um, maybe I should go now. On the low. On the low. This is real dangerous. Oh my god. Woo! We're underneath then, so the searchlights no longer cause any problem. Let's follow maybe these guys around, and uh, we'll try and see. Maybe we should recruit. Look how many there is. This is crazy. Look, I'm gonna go this way here. Some concealment here. So they go in groups of twos. All right, you see these two here. They're still concealed, thankfully. Let's gotta sweep back. Okay, there's another person on his own going that way. 
Shall so we see what he does? I think he's going to keep on moving that way. But look, he turned back. Right, so this is a bad spot, okay? Look at that. You were seeing right there. Oh, Did not want to go this way. Maybe I got no choice. Uh, there's like an alarm or something right there. You see that? Right here. Yeah, the light doesn't quite come here. So this is like a safety zone from the light. Oh, boy. I'm going to move this way. How can they not see me? How can they not see me? I'm not complaining. He did slightly see me. I think the alert is going to go away. Thank goodness. All right, now we're in some kind of camp area. You see this? Let's keep going around the edges. There's no concealment here. There is over there, though. Let me try and look up here quickly. There is a guy coming that way. You see his footsteps? Nope. Okay, there's a guy patrolling. Oh, man. This is really bad. This is difficult. This really is. Let me take a look in here. Okay, he's sleeping. I could take him down. I don't need to, though. Some fine linen. Jerry's I'll take it. In the house. Oh, crap. He woke up. Hey, okay, hide here. He didn't see where I went. He's looking. No one. Yeah. There you go. I should have already took him down. My bad. Dude, you gotta go to sleep, okay? Yeah, you can come with me. All right. Carry him, too. I'm gonna put him over here. Out of the way of everything. All right, guys. I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot right now. It says we're 24 meters away. I'm gonna stay concealed whilst this guy walks past. Look at this freaking idiot. You hear me? You're an idiot right now. Probably shouldn't be saying that so loud, should I? So more coming. Bro, he was looking straight at me in the face. That freaked me out for a sec. I thought they were going to catch me. All right, now's my chance. They're all going past. Let's go ahead, climb it. Woo! And we're in. Okay, and duck. Don't know if there's going to be anyone in here. Let me check the door. Okay, it is locked. That's good. All right, guys. I think we're here. Let's open the oh, door. I said the key was in General Bing's office. I right, locked it straight away behind me. So in the office, there's some kind of passageway upstairs. There is a big desk here. We'll search the desk to begin with. We'll craft a lock pick whilst we're picking the desk. Come on, this should be good. All right, is it in there now? That's the question. It's empty. Dang it. Take a book right here. Nice one. So that one, healing gives you somewhat more health. Awesome. That's what we learned from reading that. The thing has got to be around here somewhere, though. Guide to fitting in. Look, I'll take that one, too. Open. This is interesting. So we can steal that. Piano music, Piano music. Eh? Maybe I should have a read and play it. Maybe so. You know what? Let's go ahead and try this, I guess. Note, chord, note. What a jolly tune. Maybe I should play it. All right. Note, chord, note. So that would be E, V, E. And that's it. I knew there was a light back there. Well, like hey, clock. let's go. All right, there's the generator room key. We'll steal that one. If it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done. Okay, now we're going to sabotage the storage generator, and then we're all good here. Let's go ahead and do this. Don't think there's any around here. Let's go. Okay. It's pretty much been a straight walk, guys. I think I went away where no one's patrolling, pretty much. Nice. So in here is where the generator is. So let me just see this side. Do I have some light? I'm going to peep this corner. Uh-huh. Okay, looking good so far. Not seeing no one. Some more concealment. And there is a door here. Do we need to pick it, though? And lock it from the outside? All right, there you go. Go ahead, close this thing. Oh, I need to lock this thing. Let's make sure. Yep. I think we're the only ones here. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this. Looks like there's no particular order. Right, so we're done. All right. What? Here it goes. It's done. Now, how do we get out of here? Um, oh, this robot. Oh, what did you think? Come on. I think you was alarm, didn't they? I bet he oh, bloody gosh. knew. Why would he tell us to do it then? I'm not gonna be able to jump over the fence from this side. We know where we gotta go. Just gotta get back to the general secret hatch. Yep. That's my way out. Now I think, and I'm hoping, this is gonna be the safe way again. You see no one? Okay, speed is definitely key here. Play it safe. At the same time, nice and quick. You see, it's like no one patrols this back crew. It's the best way we can be going right now. Let's do this. Oh yeah. And just like that, we basically walk back through the camp. Ain't no one even knowing what's going on right now. Look, I'll go ahead. I'll even lock myself in my new room, okay? This is my place. Let's go ahead and escape. That is how you do it. It's a mission done right there, guys. Woo! Happy I mache tanks. That as well. Yeah, so ring the bell at the back and enter the room. Right. After all that, huh? Now if I can make it back to Ollie alive, he'll help me get out of town. Mm -hmm. Assuming that wasn't another lie. That won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it? Yeah, I'm going to put the gas mask on for a second, because we're going through the bog, all right? So it's going to be stinky back here. One thing, though, guys, for certain about that quest right there we've established is that sneaking is so much more better than any conflicts you can get in. Once I got bayoneted, I was bleeding. I nearly lost my life, and that was just two of them. There was, like, 50 in that ground, so, yeah, I'm glad I snuck the rest of the way through. So for me, sneaking alongside the takedowns is the way we're going to do this. Um, now, i got to make my way back. Let me just see. There is a few patrolling, but they have no idea. I'm out, gentlemen. And by the way, it was me that turned off the generator. <laughs> so anyway, guys, the bobbies are back on patrol, of course. Uh, well, I say patrol. These guys look the most miserable things I've ever seen in this land, you know. I don't know if they're actually consuming their joy as well. So that's another interesting thing. 
but they only patrol really the main roads, and this is for the most part barren, so we should be alright to just stand up and I guess get moving. Back to the train station it is then. Let's go ahead and see what Ollie has to say about all of this. The phone's ringing again. Uh, we're gonna Please answer listen it. listen to a personal message for our what? prudent friend. What the freak? The fox has gone to bed. Yeah? The fox has gone to bed. Okay. What? I... I okay. I could probably come in the way I got out in the back of the station. That's what I'm thinking too. Let me bring this. Maybe this is it? It might be. Yeah, hey! Arty! Come on up! Sweet. Let's go on through, man. Now, okay, guys, expectations, okay, versus reality. I think Ollie maybe got, like, a broken pencil for his wife, okay? Ollie, let's just talk about this, okay? I don't expect too much, and, uh, ooh, an elevator. All right, we'll go ahead and use this thing. Looks safe enough, I guess. But let's go ahead and see exactly now what Ollie has planned for us. Uh-huh. This is pretty cool, you know? This is quite interesting. Ollie, there you are, brother. All right, let's get this talk underway, I guess. If I can find him. Wait, I literally, I think I gotta keep climbing. Yeah, so he's put like his own little elevator rig all on this church. Pretty handy man, you know? That's what I gotta say. We can now see as well the pollution. So that must be a factory. And I guess it's producing the power that we're using, the power cells and such. Maybe we can obtain that uh, a bit more easily down the line. That's but now let's go on in. Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did okay. you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. Who's he talking to? They want another go. You bloody knew. How would I have known that? For f**k's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks okay. were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're so made of papier-mâché. Well, we could have fought shocked. them. If they didn't really have tanks. No, I wouldn't have given them Percy and the others. Up. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off mm. that train. Oh my God. I lied my way off that train. What? I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Uh oh. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. So he lied about a lie? If it was oh. only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. Huh. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. That is it. <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home. Mm. How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. Come on, man. They shut that bridge down last week. Mm. Isn't that good? No. You're right. You're Here always you right. You gonna help out? Ever seen one of these? The freak is what that? Does it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from okay. Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm mm -hmm. has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, I wouldn't then. quite say that, okay? See you on the other side. Ollie. I'd rather Pleasure doubt man. that. <laughs> Wow. Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Nice to know you, man. We're gonna see him again, okay? There ain't no way that's it for us and Ollie. What a good guy, though. He's just hooked us up with some really good stuff. So, uh, you received a curious device. Uh, we still don't, I guess, know exactly what that is. Now the objective is to go over to Salamanca Bridge. Let's go ahead, pull the elevator. Not a bad day's work at all, you know. So if we head on over to there, I got a sinking suspicion. We may just find ourselves in a totally different zone where... Look, I don't know, guys. This is the joy for me with this game. We might just find people who are dressed differently, act differently. The whole place is totally different. It's exciting. It's really exciting. I think that's another part of the joy with this game, that we have the story. We're learning even more about everything that's going on. But as I said before as well, the environment and the shift of people, and I guess the way you then have to act, it's such a unique concept. And I'm just hoping when we get to those new islands, it is executed well. Again, though, guys, let me know how you found this gameplay, because we did do it slightly different in certain areas. But for this one, that's going to be part three of We Happy Few, and I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like creating and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.